We started this journey of the Aurora festivals because we wanted to do something really good, of highest quality, and something that gives more than it takes. I think in our lives, this happened with the right timing. Uh, I had my background and Ola has his background, and this was meant to be. And we wanted to create a meeting place for international artists. We quickly build a, a great network that is still expanding. The beginning was uh, particularly crazy. It was like a fusion reaction, which just BAM! like this. It was like Aurora's little Big Bang. We didn't start with one festival, we started with three, four festivals immediately, the first year. Yeah. Halfway through, and we had uh, other events, tours and, and uh, Lots of concerts. It was it was really crazy. It was the Aurora Big Bang, actually. And finale, yes, yes. That's a good thing. Write it over the repeat. Very, very. A very strong character is this meeting between the a bit older artists and and the younger ones. The energy uh, is everyone can touch that. And I always ask us, how can you invite these big names to this little town? Up north, how is it possible? How is it possible? We had Kurt Masur this week. You know, it's crazy. We had Midori last year, and Sora Shang, and Misha Maiski, and all these great people. Why are they coming back? And why are they coming here? And that's, I would say, that will be the first answer. It's this energy between the young people and them. Because here we take them seriously, the young ones. From day one, they have the same conditions, everyone. They are here to perform at the festival and it's on high professional level. So everyone is, has the same, same value at this festival. Even if you are the big star or playing second or bow or something. It's, we are all in the same boat and everyone feels that. And that's the, I think the energy is coming from that. And the audience can really feel it too.
and bigger ensembles into the Chamber Music Festival. Uh, this was six years ago. This idea to, to, to build an orchestra from, from people that are coming here to play chamber music and are interesting and also getting teaching and focusing on chamber music and trying to bring that same feeling as much as possible into an orchestra. But still trying to work like a professional ensemble and, and focusing on that. And it has been a fascinating project. It's a very special context like in this festival when we are so many nationalities and new people meeting that, that we, we have so easy to, to find each other and of course music is a strong force in, in achieving that. You know you speak to people that you already know somehow because you've been experiencing the same things. And it's also a fascinating thing to just in, in a concert situation to share it with so many people. I mean sitting silent and everyone is experiencing something and not necessarily the same. The most important part is, is not how you listen but that you listen. Have the courage to be very personal in your opinion. Just thinking about the last 10 years, uh, it's quite incredible actually. We had like 3,500 artists from 50 countries passing here in this region and these festivals. And that's quite incredible because all these people, they carry home a story from Toilettan and from Aurora and from artists and other friends. And so the network is really spreading. And that's, that's the, the core, that's the thing we are developing from the next level of festival. The focus is quality, quality, quality. A normal audience maybe not tell what's the reason if it's good quality or not. They can note it 
for sure, if it is quality, but they can't put words on it. So you don't have to be an expert. So of that reason, quality on stage in all aspects is of course the key for if you want to do this for a long, long time. I don't know if there is a way to play the violin. I am trying to uh, express it the way I want, and I, I am trying as much as I can to, to push uh, away limits and frames. What I like also in while playing the violin is the different characters. And uh, the violin allows, enables you to play solo stuff, but also to play with 80 or sometimes more you know, people around. It's a different approach, but my goal and what I aim every day is to approach this big, you know, fancy context with the same, you know, cool attitude and one can have in a jazz concert you know, or in a nice chamber music group, you know. I would like to approach the concert now in a very, very cool mode and very welcoming mode, rather than something like that, you know, with the audience. So um, that's, that's, that's the way I think it should be. Niklas is a, is a fantastic uh, violinist and uh, a very charming man. Yeah. He's very uh, relaxed and very focused. It's a very good role model for the young artist to see someone who is close to their own age, but who, who is so good on their instrument, but not tensed and not afraid, which gives this positive, creative attitude that is the best lesson, actually. It's a good lesson for all of us. Thank you. Go. Oh, mm -hmm.
isolet kom vi fjol med varandra. Viljan isolet kom vi fjol med varandra. Vindarna har stillnat kring vår lek och siljan ligger blek. Tonerna de ger oss både skratt. We want to offer fantastic music and fantastic concerts. That's the main goal, and it is not a cliche. I think uh, themes can be interesting if they are good, but it can also be a limitation. It, it can strangle you. So we want to put on uh, the favorite music, old, the classical, the romantic, and the 20th century music from all ages. This concept uh, was made 15 years ago. It's almost like a time travel. We start with today's noises and through a sort of almost like a funnel where we, we go down into the time of Evaldi. In this way, we thought that if we can uh, make new life to this piece so that it feels like it, this story is not told before, then we have achieved something of the authenticity of how it must have been when it was presented first time. In a way it's like uh, that you can't experience the, the past unless you bring with you the light of the present and, and vice versa. Festival, we are doing Mendelssohn and Schumann Fourth Symphonies, Tchaikovsky Five. We do the Rachmaninoff Second Piano Concerto, Sibelius Violin Concerto with the orchestra, and Wagner with the Kurt Mazur, the Tannhauser Overture. But we also do a lot of chamber music, down to duos, piano trios, up to big ensemble involving both uh, winds and brass and strings, up to 13, 14 people. So it's a huge span of chamber music perform in the festival concerts as well. It's actually a lot of music. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a lot of music.
What is significant for a great artist is that, is that he has a very personal expression, that he has a story to tell. And when you sit and listen to such artists, you feel this, and this is very comforting. It's not about interpretation of this and this repertoire, it is, it's the attitude, the passion, that's the lesson, and that's the comfort that every, everybody who is experiencing this can translate that into their own life. That is, the, that is very important. They can translate what is happening on stage into their own life. Both my parents are pianists, so for me all my childhood and babyhood was connected with music and piano. I was all the time listening how they are practicing themselves and giving lessons to their students. And then as early as they could, they started to teach me also to play piano. So at that time I didn't really have a lot of choosing from. But uh, then also when I was six I played for one year violin but somehow piano took over and I really enjoyed it. It was great fun for me. And very early I started to play on stage. This I also enjoyed very much and definitely didn't want to give up. So somehow gradually I could know for sure that this is what I want to do for all my life and this is what my life couldn't be full without. <laughs> to share with all the people who came to listen my thoughts, my feelings through music which I play and I hope that after the concert each person in the hall they can leave the hall with something new, with uh, maybe I could move them, maybe I could make them laugh, maybe I could make them cry, depends on the music, depends on each individual person but uh, that's basically my goal, not to leave people in the For me, Rachmaninoff is really one of my favorite composers and the second concerto, of course, it's one of the most beloved pieces of all times and uh, I really enjoy playing this music. It has the long, incredible lines, beautiful uh, melodies, amazing rich harmonies and uh, in general when I'm playing this music I feel like we're flying, like something is happening inside our soul. and. 
This is really one of the most powerful music I think in the world. If I'm a conductor, I have to try to conduct the repertoire which is understood by the people uh, which are listening to me. It's very crucial for what you want to be understood with. And for me, it's the main point always that I would like that we have peace in the world. And peace in the world means if everybody loves music the same way, it would be easy to understand each other. played a role in my life. And the other point is that I discovered that music can help people to survive difficult times for themselves also. If you love music, you are also blessed by the ability to look at the life in a more positive way as if you would be only working hard to get money. when he works with the orchestra because it's it's not about beating technique it's just it's about presence human spirit presence and aura
if you are in the same hall, you get really touched and moved by it. And it's amazing to see the, the faces of the young musicians. Some of them maybe didn't really know who he was, but when he came on stage, they are swept away. They know that you're there, they are touched by something really special. It's been incredible to have his spirit and his life work alive here in this festival. It has meant so much for all of us. It's like a big hand over the whole festival. And the most important thing is to continue to, to have fun and to be inspired and to, to keep the spirit. Because if you keep the spirit, then you dream and then everything is possible. And then everything will just happen as it has done so far. So that's, uh, that's the dream and the hope for the future, to continue to have fun and to continue to be inspired because then everything will just happen. We have done 33 festivals, so we can do anything we want. Yeah. We can do anything we want.